Hey guys, we're back. It's been a little bit since I've done a video. In today's video, I'm focusing on this product right here. No, not the FX3, not the Ninja Monitor. I'm talking about this Tilta Mirage matte box with built-in variable ND. When researching this, I couldn't find a lot of videos on it that weren't from Tilta. There's a few here and there, but not a lot. And this kind of just got released really quietly. I haven't seen a lot about it on the internet. And it's squarely aiming at taking a chunk out of Polar Pro's dominance of these mini matte box systems with built-in variable ND. Yeah, you heard it right. This has built-in variable ND, just like the Polar Pro Basecamp model. Isn't it the Basecamp? Is that what they call it? So this guy's got that. I just want to talk a little bit about it and why I chose to go with this over the Polar Pro. First things first, guys, if this is your first time here on my channel, thanks for clicking on the video and watching. I just try and give unbiased information and reviews about the products that I've purchased or rented with my own money. Occasionally, companies might send me a, a product to test out and use, but I always disclose that and I never take money for the reviews. And I also never use affiliate links. So there's nothing that's biasing me toward telling you to use a certain product. I'm not gonna get a kickback if you click on affiliate link down below to purchase this or any of the other products I talk about on my channel. I feel like it's only human nature that you would try and get more people to, to click on that and you might gloss over some of the negative aspects of products if, if you've got some financial gain to be had by having people click on your affiliate links. That's why I don't use them. Anyways, let's get into talking about this matte box and why I chose it. It's the Tilta Mirage matte box system. It comes in three different configurations. The cheapest one being $119. That comes with a matte box itself, along with these little uh, screw-on adapters that allow you to connect the matte box directly to the front of the lens. It comes in 82, 67, 77, and 72 millimeter filter threads. And honestly, that will allow you to pretty much connect any lens you want. And that, that's what I'm gonna show you when I, I break this down here and how it's connected to this lens, because I'm using a lens that's not any of those filter sizes, and I'm using it right here. Additionally, it comes with this little mount right here that allows you to use 15 millimeter rods. If you have uh, 15 millimeter rods on your, your camera and you'd like to use that to connect it rather than connect it to the front of the lens, you have that ability as additional support right here. It comes with that as well. All that's included for $119. So when you step up to the $369 kit, you get this little pouch here. It comes with the variable ND. And this is sort of, sort of the magic for this guy. So this, this variable ND right here, you can see how it works. If you've clicked on this video, you probably know how a variable ND works. The variable ND slides right in here, and then you have access, much like the Polar Pro, where you can adjust your ND. So if you step up to the $599 kit, it comes with everything that I have here, and additionally, it comes with a motor and a wireless controller, so you can control the variable ND wirelessly, similar to like the wireless follow focus that you see in the, the Tilta Nucleus Nano, that's pretty cool. So for 600 bucks, you get that. I didn't get that kit for a couple of reasons. One, it's on back order. And the other is, I don't know that I'll use that. I got this primarily to use on my FX3 and I don't really see me having to be wireless from this, but there's a lot of really cool uses for that wireless system. You can extend, get a range extender on it. You can hook this to a drone because it's so lightweight. So you have your whole camera on a drone with variable ND and you can control the ND while you're on the ground. Really cool features, really innovative what Tilta has done with this. And I feel like it's competitively priced. So for the 369 that I purchased here, you pretty much have the same thing as like the $600-ish uh, Polar Pro Base Camp, which I think this is pretty a pretty good value for that. So let's talk about how it connects and what I like about what makes this a little different too, some other things. So here's the magic here. This is the variable ND. This slides, slides right in, just like that clicks. And then you've got this little wheel right here on top to control the power of your ND. Clamps on the front of your lens with these little donuts that we have. But I mentioned before, despite whatever size the filter threads are in your lens, you can make this work for you. This lens I'm using on the FX3 is the 55 millimeter f1.8. So the filter thread on this lens, 49 millimeters. So what I did was I just used my 49 millimeter to 67 millimeter step up ring. We screw that on first. Now from here, we can take the included 67 millimeter adapter, screw that up right on this guy, right? Now we just simply take our matte box, slide this bad boy right here on the front, Tighten it down. We're good to go. You've got your top flag, you've got your variable ND, and you're good to go. So this is kind of the extreme. This is a 49 millimeter filter threat, and I can make it work with this matte box. The next thing that I was kind of concerned when I bought this was 
you know, I already have invested like probably a lot of you guys in, I've got black pro mist filter, but let's just say I want to use a mist filter on this. Well, this is where this is different than the Polar Pro. L let me just show you what I'm talking about here. You'll notice that this little adapter ring here, the 67 millimeter adapter also has 67 millimeter filter threads in it. So what we can do with this guy is I can take, put my black pro mist filter on. So this is a black pro mist. I've got my adapter. Now I can slap my tilt a matte box right back on here and we're good to go. Now I've got a mist filter along with my variable ND and I didn't have to buy a new mist filter that's proprietary to this matte box. So they do sell some proprietary. That's what this is for. They do sell proprietary filters that will go in these. And it's kind of cool. I like how Tilta has teamed up with a company called Baxis and they've innovated on these round filters because the square, what is it? Like 4.6 something times five inch filters that normally go in matte boxes are very expensive. And there's a lot of wasted glass that's out to the side that you're never gonna use. This kind of solves that problem by making these filters round and they go in these round trays. I don't know why nobody ever thought of that before, but Frank, you say, I already own a bunch of five inch filters and, and I don't want to throw them all away. They're damn expensive. And you're right. These are damn expensive filters. Well, you can put your five inch by 4.6, whatever the number is, you can fit them in here. You can, they, they, it's got it right here. This little guy right here is a, uh, a little clip holder, whatever you want to call it, filter holder. So you can put your filters in here. So let's say you've already invested in some and you want to have them for this, or maybe this is a matte box you're going to start with and maybe move up to some of the more professional matte boxes. You can still do it with this. The real thing that separates this from the Polar Pro is it's not so proprietary. Initially, I thought, man, this is all proprietary. You've got to use these, these lenses or you know, these uh, filter holders that are proprietary, which yes, you can do that. Vaxxas makes a bunch of like cool like streak filters and everything just like Polar Pro makes a mist filter. The difference is you can also use your regular round filters that you've already got or the, the square filters and you don't have to have any additional purchases to make that work. Sort of more for your money with what you can use. Like you can use what you already have. And I like that a lot. How does it look? Isn't that what's really important? So let's, let's just switch cameras, right? Don't you think we should do that? Let's just switch. This is the FX3. This is the FX6. The FX3 has the Tilta Mirage matte box on it right now. They're both in S-Log. They're both at F2.8. This is the Sony 55 millimeter. This is the Sony 24 to 70 G Master zoomed into approximately 50 millimeters. I tried to approximate the, the framing here and get them pretty close, but the point of this is the variable ND on the FX6 that's built in electronic versus the variable ND on this matte box. And is there a significant difference? Um, there is a little bit of a color difference on these two cameras. I'll try my best to get them to match. I've got this, let's use the color chart here, right? Well, oh, that's the white one. Let's take out this color chart and see if we can get these cameras to somewhat match each other. We'll give it a try. So you can see with this ND, I've got a lot more to play with here. I can go, this is full, full ND here. I don't really see that X pattern that you get. So that's pretty good. It's got hard stops in it, so you can't over overturn it. And then we can go all the way wide open with the ND, which clearly I'm overexposed now. So this is the, the, the other end of the ND. Just wanted to kind of show you guys what you get here. So I think it's a, a pretty good little value here. I'm happy with it so far. Don't have any issues myself. I think it was a good investment. This is super lightweight. It's got a lot of cool features in it. I think if you're gonna buy this or the Polar Pro, I mean, they both have their pros and cons, but I think this is a better value in my opinion. And Tilta is so quiet about releasing this stuff. This is a really innovative product with their wireless control. Now, the one thing I didn't mention on the wireless control is that it, it will work with any of their wireless controllers. So you can just buy the motor for this and it's a really tiny little motor. You can control it with your Nucleus Nano controller. If you've got the side handle that's got the controller in it, it'll work with it. So basically all of their stuff is in harmony with each other and will work together. You can also, if you've already got the Nucleus Nano kit with the motor and the, the wireless controller for your Nucleus Nano follow focus, you can actually adapt that motor to work with this. And this kit that I bought came with that, I'll, I'll show you here, probably in some of the B-roll, the little box that has the, the adapter with it. I haven't even opened it yet, but so if you want to just adapt your Nucleus Nano system to this, you're good to go. I think this was a great value, $369, very well spent. I really, really like this. 
Hope you guys like it too. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.